this is Grinstar, and today I'm in Face Plant trying to think about the last video. We did something kind of creepy, kind of ethereal, kind of higher, higher in the things. I kind of want to go with low, maybe low and growly or scratchy or something monster like. Uh, I, I want to do something, something cool. It's something I think growly, so maybe maybe growly would be easier. So a little bit bassier, a little bit on the the lows this time, rather than the focusing on the highs as we did with it. And then we're gonna do it in faceplant. We did pigments five last time. We're gonna do faceplant this time. I think a good growl is probably summed up with at least a sawtooth, because the the sawtooth being kind of like this. If you get it, get it, 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 it has a, it's sort of growl on its own, but I'm thinking maybe instead of doing a, a growl, we'll uh, do, or I mean, a, a sawtooth, we do something like wavetable-ish, maybe. And I want to, I want to do this low, so I want to get like in the, the C1 range. Yeah, something like that. All right, so basically no growl yet. We can we can kind of give some distortion, some like drive to really get out the the stuff, and we'll we'll have uh, kind of like a limiter because we don't want to do it too much because we're cranking up the 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 drive here, and we kind of make we'll make too much noise. Yo. Uh, overdrive, saturate. Need a bit more distortion. And kind of what I want is, is the movement or the, the sort of like, like basically this is, this is kind of, no, we can have some like rhythmic melody, you know, like maybe eighths or something instead of a. Yeah, I don't like that. So, so like I said, let, let's change this out of analog and maybe do a wavetable or something. Let me let me fix this back here to kind of do it in a loop. That's kind of cool. So what we want to do is we want to probably either use an LFO Cause, cause I want some movement of when the note starts and it moves over and it goes into the end end thing and and you can get that really good with the when the envelope we we open the envelope down here we grab this little thing and we say we want to mess with the modulate the frame there. All right, now it's going it's going all the way up. So let's let's uh, quickly. We want it to quickly come down. So Getting better. I like it. So we could probably add some phase distortion. Let's see how that works. Ooh, that's that sounding really weird.
that's good for a start. Now, what we could do is we could bounce it. And I have it two bars. I want it to be a, I want it to be, right? We have it at four bars. I want it to be at, at two bars. So I want this bounce. Now let's go back into phase plant and instead of using this, which we could still use this. We could do either sampler or wavetable. Go over here, we go to current projects, we look for the bounce, we grab the bounce, we put it in here. some more information. Let's go granular. We put it on its own envelope. Give me a second, trying to figure out how to trigger this manually. I'm on a low grouse. Uh, let me let me add a filter. Let me add that early. Sounds a bit, it sounds still a lot, a lot to synth the, probably do a formant, maybe get its vowel sounds. That's kind of cool. So we're looking at like, it, uh, this is way too high still. So let's transpose an octave. All right, and you are going ultimately way too fast. Getting better, getting better. Oh, 
Okay, so if you're in a dark alley and you heard this sound. Whoops. Yeah, that's 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 really creepy. Go down some more. More alien like, right? So Maybe, maybe sound design for like something Doctor Who alien monster kind of sounding. This wavetable kind of take that out. Although I, I think it's missing that initial growl. I just think it sounds way too synth like. Yeah, that that's that's not too sense like. All right. Sink. Or it could be like a laboratory type of sound. Think in here, how can I use this? Birds in the <laughs> like a like a really filtered bird pigeons or something filter a pigeon sound or something and I think that's this format oh yeah Yeah, I just need to... Ugh. Overall, it's getting really, really good. Take the wave table out again. I kind of... I, I like it, but it's...
Try comb filtering it early. Yeah, that's definitely a creepy monster. That's a reverb on that tail end of this or a convolution. Too much room. Looking at what other stuff I can mess around with. Yeah, now that's just killing the. cut it up and use that that thing i think i swear that's like one of the i was watching godzilla this weekend on youtube they got somebody streaming a whole bunch of it and uh that that sounds like a that sounds like a rodan rodan with that that flying monster or that flying pterodactyl that right there there yeah i like that And that's not going to get it. It has to be sustained. Bounce that again, and I think I got my sample. Yeah, so let me edit that. Let me cut this part out. All right, maybe. Huh. Oops. Gone a little crazy here.
I think I got my monster. It took a while to get there, but I think I got it. It could use a lot more kind of effects on the end of it. Maybe something more Bitwig-ish to... Not on this track, but on this track of here. And maybe use some uh, multi, multi effects tools, uh, infiltrator. Let's save it, call it the monster. If I could freaking type. And uh, I'm happy with it. I'm going to call this a video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. And I will catch you later.